Statistics and Excel. Calories data, statistics, sample, example. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with statistics and Excel. Well, actually, we're using OneNote here, but we will be talking about Excel too. You're not required to, but if you have access to OneNote icon, left-hand side, OneNote presentation, 1360 calories data statistics sample example tab we're also uploading transcripts to OneNote so you can use the immersive reader tool change the language if you so choose either read or listen to the transcripts in multiple different languages using the timestamps to tie in to the video presentation OneNote desktop version here, data on the left-hand side related to counting calories. We have the date on the left, the calorie count on the right. So for example, this first one, 3-12-2016, calorie count 2,990. 3-12-16, calorie count 1777, and then 3-13-16, calorie count 2480. Now we're gonna treat this data on the left-hand side as though it's the entire population of data so that we can run a few statistical analysis on it. And then imagine that we're gonna take samples from this data set so that we can then run statistical tests on the sample to see if that information is something that can tell us about the entire population. So similar type of strategy here that we have done when we looked at the heights of individual, but we're gonna use a little bit different methods when we get to uh, the sampling. And our goal is to think about the statistics involved as well as how we might use tools such as Excel to help us practice with these concepts. Also just realize that if you want to look up some of these data sets, uh, kaggle.com k-a-g-g-l-e.com might be a place to look let's start off by taking the information from the entire data set so this is the population data set we can calculate the average or mean which is going to be taking the entire uh, sum of the number adding up all of the numbers and then dividing by the count one two three four and so on or we can use the average function which is average and then we just sum up the data or average in this uh, set of data. And that gives us the 2189. We might also take the median, which is picking the one in the middle. So if we listed this from top to bottom, lowest to highest or highest to lowest, and then pick the one in the middle, that would be the median. Just like Rockies, the boxers coach told him, to when he sees three of them out there, hit the one in the middle, hit the one in the middle. The max is the highest one. So if we were to sort the column over here and pick the, the highest amount, that's the maximum. We don't even have to sort them though because we have the formula of equals max to pick the max. And then the min is the lowest one. So we could sort by the lowest one to see the min or I can simply use my min formula. So we had zero calories. That was, we were locked in a closet one day or something. I don't know. That's not sure that's exactly healthy. We're fasting. It's just one day. Not a big deal. All right. So then if we were to take this data and then put it into a histogram, so we just select this entire data set, make a histogram. Here's from the categories of zero to 370, from 370 to 740 and so on. And, the, and it looks like kind of like the middle or biggest area where most of the results are falling in is between 1,850 and 2,220. Now, calories is another one of those areas where you would kind of expect because we, we tend to stay at a similar weight, uh, you know, a similar range between a few pounds so that you would expect that our calories would also be within a pretty reasonable range. So this is another one of those areas where you would expect most days your calorie counts are pretty much in a range and then it would look kind of bell shaped you would think uh that would be higher or lower on on certain days that's kind of so we don't have as extensive a data set here as we had with the heights and therefore we don't have as much detail that you might expect if we had a whole whole lot of data but we're going to assume this is basically our in, entire population so then we're going to think about how we can create a sample of that population. So if I'm going to create a sample, what I want to do is take these numbers and, and in essence, shuffle them up. I want to shuffle up those numbers. So once again, we're going to use the technique 
of using the random number generator. So the random number generator is this one, just equals random. And if you just put a random number, it's gonna use a decimal. I've then added the decimal. So it's a pretty long decimal. So all of these randomly generated numbers should be unique. And therefore, if we sort them, they will be uh, sorted, you know, in a, in a, in a, they'll shuffle the sorting. So if we add the calories, so now I've added all of the calories and these random numbers